Robert, how much did their zone really give you guys fits tonight? Uh, first, I would like to thank God for this opportunity. Uh, but the zone, it gave us problems tonight. Um, it just slowed us down on our offense, made us uh, basically waste a lot of time so that we uh, wouldn't have that much shot clock to work with. So uh, I think it did what it was supposed to do tonight. Go ahead, Paul, in the back. DJ, uh, obviously you guys got them in foul trouble in the first half. What Was it the zone, or were you guys just not attacking them much in the second half? Um, we, we like kind of got passive with not uh, attacking the one through one. Um, kind of scared to like make passes because we didn't want to mess up. Um, we just wasn't being aggressive in the second half like we was in the first. Okay, we'll go to Logan here in the front, and we'll go to Tyler in the second row. Robert, just how much did y'all work on that one three one at practice yesterday? Coach Allen said y'all didn't do a whole lot Sunday, but yesterday at practice, y'all were going to kind of focus on that. Yes, sir. Uh, we focused on it a lot. Um, felt like we had it down pack, but I guess sometimes things change uh, in the heat of the moment. So uh, it's just something we have to work on more often at this point, just to make sure that we really know the ins and outs and how to make things easier on us, make things easier on us and easier ways to score in that 1-3-1. One, one. Rob, when, when things start snowballing there in the second half, what are those conversations like in huddles and what are you guys trying to do to maybe you know stop the, the bleeding, if you will? Uh, at that point, it's just a sense of pride. Um, just do whatever you can to try to stop the bleeding, but never drop your head, never show that uh, you're down about it because, you know, uh, it's just about keeping composure at that point, um, knowing that we'll see him again. Anything else for the players? Okay, go ahead, Tom. DJ, how hard is it to kind of, you look up at the scoreboard and you, you see how lopsided it did get. How hard is it to kind of flush that? And I mean, what, do you, what can you do to flush that? I mean, when it's when it got out of control, um, just had to just like work on our game and like try to get better. When like really much we can do about it, but just try to get better as a team at that moment. You know, give Ole Miss credit. Uh, you know, they were down big. We had a really nice lead. I thought we came out, played uh, you know the first ten minutes about as well as we can play. Had both ends of the floor. Had a twenty-six to thirteen lead. And, uh, you know, really had things rolling for us. Obviously, it hurt us when our two bigs got in foul trouble. And foul trouble meaning with two fouls, and I elected not to play him. That's when they whittled the lead back. I thought that uh, in the first half in particular, uh, Cy was really effective. He had 14 points in the first half and was very, very good. And then you look at the turnovers. We did not handle their pressure well, especially in the 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, you know, they had way too many uh, – we had way too many turnovers. They had 27 points off of our turnovers. And, uh, you know, we end up losing by 25. And you look at the turnover situation, 17, so many of them led to easy baskets. And then once they had the lead, I thought that uh, Tyree just, you know, took the game over and made some really tough, physically uh, difficult shots, uh, driving to the basket. You know, he was really, really good tonight. And, uh, you know, give them credit. But obviously this is disappointing for us and how we respond to this is everything is, uh, you know, we move forward to our next, you know, opportunity on the road at Arkansas. We'll start with Brian, and then we'll go to Garrett. You talked to, you talked to us yesterday about that zone defense and how you were trying to prepare for it. Did, did you feel like your team had a good handle on it coming into the game, and then where did it go wrong for yeah, you? Yeah, but obviously we didn't. Um, and, uh, you know, we talked about how we have to attack it, and, uh, you know, the, the double team bothered us. And, uh, you know, again, you know, they they really fed off of the turnovers, and so that's a key for us, you know, the next time we play them at the end of the year. Go ahead, Garrett. Tough night for Nick tonight. Was it the zone that was really giving him fits, or what do you see out of Nick today? Yeah, I, I thought that Nick early on had a couple good looks, and they just didn't go for him. I thought you know, his defense was, was good. Uh, and then I thought, you know, he, he got sped up a little bit there in the second half, a couple of his turnovers. And, you know, neither he or Tyson, you know, uh, you know, had their best game tonight. And uh, for us to win, you know, those guys are veteran guys. And, uh, you know, uh, you know when, when they play well, we, you know, we're very, very tough to beat. We'll go to Tyler and then we'll go down to Logan, Coach's line. On that note, was there ever an instance where you thought of giving Iverson a full rotation or two at point guard? Yeah, you know what? Um, that, that's something that I obviously uh, have to look at and probably should have done more. I mean, he's he just plays with, you know, a, a great freedom and an attack. And, 
you know, it's it's hard when I go against, you know, my veterans because, you know, I always believe in the guys that have been here and, and that, uh, you know, have paid the price uh, year after year. And Iverson's obviously a special talent. It's really going to be good. You know, I, I asked him one time, you know, I took him out right after he was in the corner because he didn't really know that spot in the 1-3-1 uh, one, one zone. I mean, we really – what was tough for us is we had the one-day uh, preparation plus the, uh, you know, today. Uh, you know, the way it works out, we're playing Saturday, you know, Sunday. You know, we kind of didn't do a lot because, um, you know, we were preparing for them, but we didn't want to hurt ourselves physically. And so, you know, probably should have practiced that day at full speed. With Abdul, uh shoulder, he was able to start the game. Just how close of a game time decision was that? Was he able to go to full practice? Yeah, yesterday? no, he was fine. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he, he practiced really well yesterday. And, you know, he's key to our defense. I thought that... Uh, we got hurt on some weak side, not rotating down where his guy was slipping to the rim. And, you know, Cy, you know, when he, he, he had a really good game. I mean, this is, you know, obviously, you know, a huge game for him when you look at his numbers. And uh, he played really well. You know, so give that kid credit. Back of the cameras with Tom. Ben, when you're on the other end of a performance like Tyree in the second half, you know, what adjustments are you trying to make? Was it What were some of the conversations in the huddle to try and... You know, it was that? tough, Tom, is that we did we burned a lot of our timeouts early on trying to stay in and keep it close. And so we got to the, about the 10-minute mark thereabouts where I had no timeouts left. And... Uh, you know, so uh, you know he. Uh, you know, give him credit. I mean, he's a tremendous player, and he just really had it rolling. He's coming off the Player of the Week uh, a week ago, where he just played great. He had 36 or 38 against South Carolina, and he topped that tonight. So you know, give the kid a lot of credit. He made some tough shots. The guys hanging on him. Uh, the tough ones to, are the ones where he's driving, and we're not giving enough help. I thought, you know, when you looked early in the game, I thought we did a tremendous job defending him. But, you know, like a veteran that he is, he just bided his time and finally got it going. What about a wreck in the third round? Hey, Ben, I read all the, the websites, bubble watches and all this, and some have you in and some have you out. You've, done, you've been at it a long time. Do you talk about it? Is that something you talk about or they know it or how do you? Yeah, you know, we discuss where they're seeing us right now. And there's still a lot of basketball left. We can still get there. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, we got to learn from this, put this behind us, and now, you know, really show up ready to go here in our preparation for our next game uh, down in Fayetteville. We'll go back to Tyler, the coach's left. What's the mood like in the locker room after a loss like that? And what can you try to tell the guys to? Yeah, just really frustrating and, and you know, down, obviously. I mean, uh, you know, lose to your arch rival uh, and lose that bad, you know, it's, it really, really stings. And, uh, you know, again, give them credit. Uh, but, you know, that pain that you, you deal with has got to drive you to come back and, uh, you know, come together and really, you know, give us our best effort here, you know, the, the remainder of the way, including this week in a very important game that we have on Saturday. I mean, it just keeps coming. We, you know, we got to bounce back. And we can't let this loss, you know, beat us twice. We'll go back to Red for one more. Man, what, what is it about that 1-3-1 one, one that, that makes it so effective? It's, it's one of a bunch of games for Kerman that yeah, built Tennessee. Yeah, think about it uh, over the years. And I think, you know, part of it is you don't see it every day and it's hard to simulate as good as they do it. Um, and... We, you know, obviously you had a poor attack, and that's on me uh, as the coach and, and our players' understanding of how to attack it. So, you know, I take, you know, full responsibility for that.